auditorium or uh, venue, did you still feel a lot of pressure that this was the UFC still? I mean, I wish I could have been as cool as Sean Williams. You know, Sean Williams would handle it like a pro, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, you know. <laughs> but no, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's totally different because you train all the time and stuff, but when, when they, when they it's, uh, fight time, you see like, you know, John McCarthy, you know, he was a ref, and you see the Fertitas, the owners are sitting there, and you know, you know, I mean, you know this, like, how, how you perform. Test day. Yeah, how you perform is going to change everything. And it, it wouldn't have mattered if there was 15,000 people there or nobody there. Like, like all you can see is the ox I mean, Like, I think, like I said, I think I overcompensated a little bit. Like, like I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be gun shy, you know what I mean? Because I have seen people, you know, I've talked to people who say, oh, yeah, your first time in the Octagon, like, you know, it's kind of weird. So like you know you see the logos on the ground you know you're like oh man this is it you know this is happening and um I think I overcompensate a little bit and like I became and that's why I saw a lot of crying um like I said Kleenex if you're watching hey man I need some sponsors. Did you contact them? Did your publicist call them? I, I think I should man you know I gave them a lot of publicity I show them crying you know crying's uh, you know it happens. You universal. Know? Yeah it's universal. <laughs> so, Everyone you know, needs tissues. <laughs> yeah the thing is like I said you know you see it I I don't think people can truly appreciate it until it happens to you like you always tell yourself like oh when it's my turn I'm gonna do this and this and this but. Trust me, man. It's like the pressure is unreal. Like you know, like but that's what we're paid to do. Paid what, what, what was that crying? It was like was that like an overwhelming emotion or what? What was that about? Yeah, you know, like uh, everything you saw in the episode was true. You know, like I, I fight a lot for my family. My you know, like I've just everybody that knows me that's seen me come out through a scene. Like you've never seen me come into a tournament like not ready. You never seen me go to practice and not give 100. percent And like I take a lot of pride in that. And I went in there. And it's like the biggest fight of my career. You know, to date. And I didn't do what I was capable of doing. And that's what hurts, you know what I mean? The regret is the, the most painful thing in any aspect of life. Like, you knew what you could have done, you knew what was possible, but you don't do it. And I have no way to blame by myself. BJ was a great coach. Um, the, the, the teammates I were, were a great coach, you know what I mean? Uh, or great people to train with. I just didn't do what I was capable of. And that's why I cried. I felt like I'm an emotional guy, you know what I mean? Like, I carry, um, if, you, if you talk to me for any amount of time or you see me, like, you know, like, like I'm an emotional guy. That's how I am. I, I didn't mean to lose control of my emotion like that, but that much crying kind of goes back to what I was saying. Like, I lost control of being a master of my emotions in the fight. And, like, I was fighting emotion. Like, when he hit me, like, I was thinking, like, a clear Andy would be like, all right, he hit me with a good shot, come back with a double leg, put him down, slow down the pace. But I was trying to quick in the pace. You know? I mean, he would hit me, I'd come right back into it. And so, you know, like, um, you know, the, the toughest thing about fighting, the toughest thing about anything in life is, 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 is controlling yourself, controlling your emotions, you know, like as a father, as a husband, as a parent, whatever, um, as an athlete, you know what I mean? There's so many things that happen in life that, that throw you off the loop, you know, you don't expect. And, um, but you gotta, you gotta be professional about it. And, uh, you know, just cause your baby cries, that doesn't mean it's time to hit him, you know? It's, you gotta figure out what's the problem, okay, how can I make it better? And when I got- Unless your baby's Rob Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like, I think about a lot of, a lot of situations in teaching, you know, high school teaching and training. Um, you know, that's the first fight in my whole professional career. I've never gone for a takedown, you know what I mean? And it's weird, you know, I think about it, you know, I was like, wow. Yeah, I've gone and fought in Japan, you know, like, like, and like, I've been able to deal with it a lot better, but I think when he hit me, I mean, that's the first time I've been knocked down in a- But in it was the added pressure? Time. I don't think it was added pressure. I put, I think I put a lot of pressure on myself. I knew, like, my family would be watching, my friends would be watching, I knew. Wait, wait, now, has your family, did your family watch that episode? My cousins have, my brother has, I think. And no one's told your mom? Nobody's told my mom. So I, I mean, she hasn't seen you cry. No, I don't think she hasn't seen me cry since I was about three years old. And I burned my hand in the pot. <laughs> but yeah, every every Sunday, um, I didn't today, but most most Sundays they go and see my parents, and like I always like you know like I'm always like holding my breath, thinking like man, they're gonna kick it's my gonna ass. Happen. As soon as I open the door, there's gonna be a back scratcher, you know, coming out of my face. You know what I mean? But it's uh, it hasn't happened yet, and you know I, I want to tell them. You know, I, mean, I do. It's just like after this all happened, like that. Don't you think that any of their friends have seen this? Look at many of your Cousins have said anything? Nah, nobody's saying anything. It's pretty amazing. And I, I have not told them not to say anything because I'm kind of I'm kind of like, all right. You don't have an aunt that's like, oh, you're Andy. <laughs> I can't believe you. I, like, crazy, he was on TV, but he was it's, it's crazy because you know I've done interviews for the Chinese media. I've done you know you know I did stuff for the Daily Breeze, which is you know the, the local paper. The paper that my, my parents like check out all the time, so it's kind of weird. Maybe they maybe have they to. know and they just don't see. <laughs> maybe they want to see me be uh, forthcoming, but I don't know, man. You know I gotta tell my parents some someday, but just right now I feel like. Honestly, I feel like I'm um, really uh, like I want to this next fight coming up. Like I want to, I want to show like win or lose. I want to show you know what, what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? So it, would it be fair to say that you and Gabe are like the most two most sensitive guys that were in the house? I'll, I'll say I'm pretty sensitive. Man. That's what you know. I'm number one in the hearts of the women out there. Cause I'm sensitive. Yeah, we just talked to Gabe. And I'm not just a fighter. <laughs> I'm not just a. Check out the Gabe interview. I'm a lover. You know what I mean? And you know it's uh, the lover side, the, the Sicilian side of me, the, the side that is a lover and woman. So did you cry just to get chicks? 
Yeah, I think I did actually. I was like, fuck, I just lost this fight, so I guess that's my chance of ultimate fire going up. Well, I can still meet some hot ass chicks, so I'll cry and you know. You see the the you know the ring girls? Uh, I did not. Um, Ariana, Ariani actually, first name basis, of course, of the US and Ring Girls. Ariani, yeah, she was there. And... <laughs> you a fan? Well, uh, maybe he wants to kick my ass too. I don't know. Like I said, I got all these guys. So... <laughs> hey man, you want to kick my ass, man? Nah, it's uh, no, like you know, like, like I said, I, I like giving feedback. So you know, whether you like me or don't like me, like keep sending me an emails, keep keep writing me, man. Like say, like website. www.bigwangdang.com. No, I'm just kidding www.anywang.tv, check it out. You'll see some uh, exclusive photos, some enchanting photos that you won't see anywhere else. Enchanting. You've heard of the Great Wall of China. Wow. The Great Wall of China? <laughs> if you want to see the Great Wall of China, check out my website. Thanks so much, Andy. Nah, thank you. Believe me, pleasure's all mine. I'm scared to shake your hand. Give me a big hug, ah. ah. <laughs> Nah, but hey, seriously, hey, thanks for supporting the show. Keep watching. There's a lot more good fights, good action. Um, like I said, I know a lot of you guys. Um, I know you guys were frustrated watching the fight, and you guys, um, you know, felt bad, felt you know, like I could have done better. I should have, and I would have, and I will. Um, but you know what? Like I said, I, I train hard, and I compete hard all the time, and I got great friends. Like sometimes Felicia, and Felicia, like I said, she's a high-level competitor. She knows what it is. Like, you know, the mental part's the hardest part to to conquer, man. So. I'm always going to be down to fight. I'm always going to be down to train. I'm always going to be down to do what I got to do. But now I just got to get smarter. You know what I mean? And hopefully if this experience doesn't get me to uh, train and compete smarter, then nothing will. So, you know, BJ and all you guys, if you guys are watching this, hey, man, you know, like, I know now, like, what you guys are saying all along. And, you know, like, I, I'm sorry. I am. You know, I rarely say that, but I am sorry. Like, you know, I, you know, I, when you picked me on the team, they didn't show it. When you picked me, you know, I went up to you. I said, hey, I ain't going to let you down, man. I'm going to give you 100%. And I didn't, you know. So I, I feel bad about it. I think about that a lot. But, you know, the only thing I can do is what I'm going to do in the future. So, you know, like, and all the fans, same way, man. I promised all you guys I would give 100% going on the show, and, and I didn't. So, um, you know, like, there's only one thing I can do now, is, which is make atone, atonement for it in the future. So that's what I plan on doing. And if you're hot, single, actually, you don't even have to be single. If you're hot, you're married, <laughs> three kids, I don't yeah, care. AndyWang.tv, man, look me up. If you're female. If you're, actually, you don't even have to be hot. If you're female... <laughs> On welfare, eight kids. Yeah, you have a bald head. Hey, that's cool too, man. James yeah. Gabe. <laughs> I won't say that. <laughs> but thanks a lot, Grapple TV. You guys have been there for me this whole the whole way, and uh, hopefully, like I said, next time we do this interview, it'll be uh, it'll be a victory interview um, instead of you know talking about what I should have could have done. Thanks. All right, thanks guys. Anyway, got TV, GrappleTV.com. Check it out. But my website has all the exclusive photos. Enchanting photos, I think. <laughs> the great Wang of China. That's all we'll say. Is it Wang or Wang? Hey. God, clear that up. Whatever the lady's like, man. Whatever you, you want to call him. Andy, whatever you want to call him, Wall of China. <laughs>